Hi everyone, I hope you're all safe and well. I'm going to read this story, Little Bar, by Kim Lewis to you. Little Bar frisked in the field. His ma ate quietly beside him. Spring and bounce and skip went Bar, running through the grass with his friends. He is with all his friends. Little Bar ran along the fence, hopping over rocks, spring and bounce and skip went Bar. Soon he left his friends behind. Then Little Bar grew tired. He found a hollow near some trees and settled down for a nap. Ma ate grass until little by little she was far along the field. When Ma finished eating, she looked around. Where's my little bar, she said. She couldn't see his spotty ears. She couldn't smell his familiar smell. She couldn't hear his little bar. Bar, she called. Where's my little bar? Ma, called lots of little lambs. They came towards her one by one. You're not mine, sniffed Ma to each. None of them were her very own, the way little Bar was hers. Here he is, he's asleep in the hollow. She can't find him. The little lambs ran to their mother. Ma sniffed along the ewes. Have you got my little Bar? asked Ma. Go away, said the ewes and stamped their feet. These lambs are ours, not yours. Ma trotted sadly on. Look, there she is. The sun was starting to go down. Ma's voice became a lonely sound. She couldn't rest or eat or think. Ba, she cried, please answer me. But there was only silence in the field. Then the shepherd came with his collie dog, Floss. He heard Ma calling and saw she was all on her own. Where's your little lamb? he said to Ma and strode off through the grass. I wonder if he's going to help. Little Bar woke up, feeling cold and hungry. He stretched and blinked, and then he saw the beady eyes of the border collie. Floss didn't have Ma's spotty ears. Floss didn't have his mother's smell. Worst of all, Floss went bark. You're not my Ma said Little Bar. Ma! cried Little Bar, running every which way. Ma! cried Little Bar, running round in circles. Wait! Floss! said the shepherd softly. From far across the field, Ma picked out the little sound. It was the sound she wanted most of all in the whole wide new spring world. First Ma walked, then she trotted. Soon she was running fast. Ba! she called Ba! 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 Little Pa ran to Ma. He ran and ran and ran. 
Ma! He said, Ma, Ma, Ma! Ma sniffed little Ba. All over barring gently. Where were you, Ma? said little Ba. Looking everywhere for you, she said. Ma stood quietly while she fed because little Ba was oh so hungry. Then little Ba snuggled down with Ma. Ma, said little Ba sleepily, are you still there? I am, little Ba. I'm here, said Ma, lying quietly beside him. Shh. I hope you enjoyed the story of Little Bar by Kim Lewis. See you all soon. Bye.